In a recent statement, prominent political figure Ghulam Nabi Azad has sparked a conversation about the intersection of religion and politics in India. Let's delve into the details. Ghulam Nabi Azad, chairman of the Democratic Progressive Azad Party, has voiced a thought-provoking perspective on the role of religion in Indian politics. Speaking at a gathering in the Doda district, Mr. Azad emphasized that the integration of religion and politics can be detrimental, labeling those who use religion for political gains as weak. Azad further stated that a significant number of Indian Muslims have a historical connection with Hinduism. He pointed to the Kashmir Valley as an example, noting that many Kashmiri Pandits had converted to Islam over time. In his words, all other Muslims converted from Hinduism in India. He cited the transformation of the region's demographic landscape over the past 600 years. The former Chief Minister of Jammu and Kashmir drew an interviewing parallel between Hindus and Muslims and the way they become interconnected with the land. While Hindus are cremated, their ashes are often immersed in rivers. Mr. Azad expressed, their ashes are placed in the river which mixes the water, and we drink that water. He then contrasted this with the concept of Muslims becoming part of the soil through their flesh and bones. Azad's comments took a pointed jab at the practice of using religion as a tool to secure votes. He urged that religion should never be employed as a vote bank in political campaigns. The voting process, he emphasized, should transcend religious lines, focusing instead on the principles and policies presented by candidates. As the debate around the interplay of religion and politics continues, Mr. Azad's remarks have ignited discussions about the need to uphold the integrity of politics and governance. The relationship between faith and public affairs is complex, and opinions on this matter remain varied. This is a topic that undoubtedly warrants further exploration. We will keep you updated, subscribe to Goodgov Mail and stay tuned.